But I would rather take another Lenore Olaf, in my opinion. Right, Camille. Camille's a freaking god tier champion. Uh, in some cases. We're building Divine Sunderer, Comet, Ruin King, Spirit of Visage, Thornmail, and GA. I'd probably rush GA, though, or maybe second item, in my opinion. Um, just just in the case that you do die on the off chance, just because Camille, in my opinion, is way better late game than she is early. So you got tri um, Triumph, Coup de Gras, and uh, Bloodline. So why I'm going Fleet Footwork on Camille is just so you can get around jungle faster. You also get the heal, so uh, from what is it attacking uh, monsters. Honestly, if you want to like stay on the map longer, especially as a tank. Ah, uh, Fleet Foot looks the way to go. Next up is J4. J4 is freaking god tier. I love playing J4. However, in this in solo queue, I would not play J4 just because uh, solo queue, not very um, not not the best. Also, never I would never play J4 against the Volibear just because that's pretty much an instant death if you decide to alt that. I mean, yeah, you can shred his armor, but the thing is, he's a freaking raid boss, and he will steal your health. And he does that really quickly, and very efficiently. So, this one is definitely more of the attack, J4 build, Triumph, Coup de Gras, Legend Tenacity, and Sudden Impact. That's why I'm building your moves, because your moves are really busted. This would essentially make J4 definitely more of, like, a fighter, and less of a tank. But, this build right here is what I'll probably usually be going on J4. I'm not going last stand, just because... I'd rather kill them than actually continue to survive them because that's the ultimate CC. Not really building a tank J4, just more of a bruiser J4. I mean, it still works. I want to see what the other people are building though. Frozen Heart. Yeah, pretty much the same thing, except for this guy's going for more tank in the middle. What would also be a decent idea is instead of going uh, Divine Sunder, you could go uh, Gauntlet. Iceborne Gauntlet, and then into a Black Cleaver, or a Black Cleaver into Iceborne Gauntlet, into Sterics, just making yourself more tankier, that also could be a pretty much vi pretty viable build. Slowing a lot of people down with the um, Q, just because it's got a pretty decent range. Also really help. Alright, next up is Volibear. I've been playing a good bit of Volibear, guys. And the only reason I have been playing Volibear, like... He's not a good champion per se, like he's got rundown, he's got an AoE, like eight, he's got an AoE shield that he gets, so kind of like the uh, Echo's um, parallel convergence, but no stun, and he's also got like an Olaf W. Volibear's insane, he's so freaking busted right now, the thing is that turning him it makes him pretty much just a raid boss. It makes him pretty much just a raid boss. So, he's got so much health and so much vamp that it's almost impossible to outdamage him. It's like the literally only way to outdamage him is like that's the only way to kill him. You have to outdamage him. And maybe you just poke him to death if he's like underfed. Anytime I played Volibear, I have been a menace to society until I get knocked out the first two deaths. I mean, not that you're saying you can't come back from that, except that Bully Bear's snowballing is literally insane. Literally insane. This is my build here. Probably going last stand instead of Coup de Gras. That would also be a good idea. Actually, no, that'd be an amazing idea, but I'm just not going to do that because the way I'm playing. Um, I'm going to play... This is definitely a tank Bully Bear. As you can see, you probably might move this one up. Actually, no, that's a Twin Guard would be a good last item. And Searing Crown, probably. However, uh, Sunfire Kate, 500 health. I'd rather... The thing is that if you're can, if you confident with hitting the AoE shot with a bunch of people, then I would go uh, Searing Crown. But the Emulate, in my opinion, is way better. Also, for this, instead of this, I'd definitely go Overgrowth. Yeah, overgrowth. And last stand. Yeah, that's pr that's a solid build right there. Volibear is a freaking tank, man. God, I hate playing against Volibear. 
The two champions I hate playing against right now are Kane and Volley Bear, and the occasional Trinamere. And the occasional Trinamere. Yeah. That, they're freaking nutty right now. Definitely. Oh, oh yeah, and here we go. We're going to talk about the least in build right now. Guys, we're not playing Lee Sin. We're never... The one sh the one jungler I will never touch will be Lee Sin. And, trust me, like, I would want to, but no. Lee Sin is too... It's too uh, above my pay grade. I'll stick with my Kha'Zix. Alright, we have Mundo here. I played a few rounds of Mundo recently. Nothing too, like, insane, except for Overgrowth and Last Stand being so freaking amazing on him. Um, Fleet Footwork might not be a good idea just because Aftershock is insane right now. Fleet Clover actually might be good on Volley Bear. Never mind that. But, um, yeah. Mantle of the Twelfth Hour is really good. Probably gonna, if I didn't have a Black Cleaver there, probably gonna go Black Cleaver second item instead. Mantle of the Twelfth Hour, definitely the last item for him. Yeah, he's, uh, Vol he, Mundo's insane. Mundo's insane. The only way to kill him is like anti heal and it's fancy that they have a mortal reminder on deck. He's really good. I mean if you can get like if you can get staff, he's pretty good. Ramus is in my Ramus was nerfed this season. They nerfed his speed, which sucks, but I still wouldn't really call it too much of a nerf. He's definitely now strictly a counter pick and not something you're running every round. Never run Ramus every round, by the way. That's a bad idea. Um, pretty solid build we got here. Starting off with Shimmering Spark into Boots and uh, Sunfire. I play enough Ramus to know like how to play him. And uh, yeah. Honestly, it's pretty decent. Font of Life could also be a decent idea. Except that I'd rather go for Courage of Colossus. Cheap Strike also just because we're just focusing them. This would also be a good one to run uh, Hex Tech Flash on as well. Because says he technically doesn't have a dash. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> Ramus is pretty fun. I don't really have an attack tank version of Ramus, though. The attack tank. I mean, this would technically be the attack tank one, but. No, never mind. This one right here. Right here. But, uh, yeah. Definitely more of a tanky one here. Pretty much the same thing, except I'm going Font of Life and Last Stand. Uh, Last Stand would also be pretty good as well, just because you're counting, you're gonna count on yourself being low health in the fight. So, really good. <coughs> I love playing Ramus, except for Ramus has somehow lost his shine recently, so not really too much of a pick. Maybe like once every uh, few games if there's like full AD comp. All right. <coughs> oh. Yi is another incredibly weird champion to play just because there's a lot you can do. Probably instead of going uh, lock in, which is really good, might go um, might go uh, I don't know. The thing is that you can build a lot on him. Probably Gloria, so you can mo get more run down. So pretty much just full vamp on this one. Brutal. I don't have Triumph. Triumph would also be really decent. Since you're guaranteeing the kills. Shield Bash also wouldn't be half bad as well. Yeah, Yi's so... Yi's pretty much the ultimate scaling champ. More scaling than Shivana. But, um... He's alright. He's alright right now. You can kill him pretty easily, but... Trying to pick Yi in ranked is another thing. Just because he's definitely up there with the permaban. Such as, like, Volley Bear, Kane, Trinamir, and Olaf. Darius jungle is not as viable. It, it's he's okay. Should he be a jungler? Eh. I mean, you can play him jungle. That's pretty much what it is right now. We're going triumph, uh, coup de gras, and legend tenacity. However, you could make an argument for legend bloodline. We're going zombie lord, but he would also he also could benefit off of the hex tech flash. <coughs> Again, pretty much no. Less of a, more of a bruiser build, more of a fighter build, I guess. Edge of Knight would also work really well on him. GA would also be pretty good, switching out to Death Dance. I'm just not a big fan of Death Dance anymore, in my opinion. <coughs> oh, 
find next of his graves. I am working right now, so our friend Hunter has now become the top one in graves on the server. And he's been giving me a few tips. This lethal tempo graves is definitely more of like a graves to play in lane. But the way he plays it is so smart just because you would audio attack twice, dash once, blind pretty much. It's this whole combo thing that he's been doing. It's also really good. Like, Lethal Tempo Graves is decently decent. <clears throat> he said he hasn't been building Bloodthirster on him. Just because, like, he just doesn't like it. Also, Black Cleaver, not too good. But Triforce, amazing. In my opinion, I don't really see that. He's been going Domic's first item. <clears throat> Which, in my opinion, like... I mean, it's okay. It gives you crit and all that. But Infinity Edge is not too good, apparently, to him. So this right here would probably be be my like take on Graves, just because I want to be more tanky. I actually want to stay in the battle longer. So we have Triumph right here for the heal. How you could make an argument for Brutal. And I'm probably going to go Legend Bloodline or Legend Tenacity instead of the attack speed. Yeah, that's pretty good. Decent build right there. Graves is in a solid place, probably better than he has been in a few, like, seasons. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. This right now is a fun champion to play. Not really a champion I'd pick in ranked. Unless, like, we're, like, completely out and out of, like, AP. And Evelyn would not be a good idea. I mean, he's solid. Definitely the Echo build that we're running on him right now. Uh, Gathering Storm, yeah, that's pretty solid right there, Sudden Impact. However, you could make an argument to build Rod of Ages, just because Rod of Ages is, again, like, a solid death, it's a pretty much a death cap that scales. Alright, next up is Gragas. Gragas is very, very good. I'd say way better in high elo than low elo, though. The thing is that not a lot of people know how to play him right now. So, Gragas, I mean, a freaking god tier, man. I love this build. This is pretty much just tank Gragas. Blue Gragas, at least. Gathering Storm. Probably gonna go Legend Tenacity instead. That's pretty good. This is the AP Gragas build. Going Last Stand instead of uh, Coup de Gras. Coup de Gras is okay on Gragas. I, last Stand would be pretty good, though. Just, just in case. Just in case. You get the health and you also get the damage. Also, we're going Ludens Echo instead. Rylos Crystal Scepter might not even be half bad as well. Infinity Orb would be decent. Lich Bane first item would also be really good. So we're probably going to go Lich Bane first into Rift Maker and then Death Cat. I'd say that right there is solid. And then switch out the Ludens for uh, Crystal Scepter. Uh, no, we already have Crystal Scepter here. Honestly, right there is pretty solid. Yeah, right there is in a decent way and you might even go you could argue going overgrowth as well you could argue going overgrowth all right riven jungle <coughs> riven love riven riven has not been doing as much damage recently just because um honestly she's definitely more of like early game mid game late game not too bad either i love playing riven riven has just not gotten too good, in my opinion. Um, pretty much running a Triforce. This is pretty much the full fighter build. Not really the traditional Black Cleaver first item, but it's solid. <coughs> Going the Triumph for the heal right after the kill. And also the uh, attack speed, just so you can get the Q off faster. You could go Bloodline as well. Tenacity would also ha be half bad as well. Sudden Impact, though, on Riven is a must. So, on this one, we got pretty much brutal, pretty much what I said, the other things. But, uh, yeah, some impact is a must on Riven. You could make an argument to go a Hunter, uh, Genius, though, in Genius Hunter. That would also be a really good idea since you're going, uh, Photo Belt. <coughs> Olaf is a predicament right now. Olaf is fun to play. Definitely an anti-tank. The only reason I play Olaf, anti-tank. The thing is that, now that I see a bunch of CC, I would not, st I would not play Gra um, not Graves, uh, Olaf against a bunch of CC. 
just cause. Just cause I'd rather wait for it to wear off. Yeah, you can take the CC to the phase, but how much health are you stuck with after that? So, which is why you could go last stand. However, Coup de Gras is also really good, so you can get your uh, Triumph off. It's either way you see it. You could go Hexec Flash as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty solid. However, Lethal Tempo, I've been going this build mostly, like usually. Death Dance first item, also really good. Definitely this is the build that I've been going for recently, just because you go the damage first route, and then you can pretty much just go Spirit Visage and the Black Cleaver, so you can actually start building on more health. Honestly, he's o he's in an okay place for builds. Pretty much just the same build I over again. Seeing what the top few people play. Triumph, Last Stand, and Overgrowth. Overgrowth being really good on the tanks, except Zombie Ward, in my opinion, like you could make you can make an opinion for pretty much every like anything. Like now that I'm thinking about it, Overgrowth might be really good other than Transcendence. Except that like <laughs> a Hextech Flash you get over the wall for a Baron still would also be really good. I mean, that's if you're confident with your smites, though, obviously. If you're confident with your smites. Shen right now is pretty much running the same build, just a little different than Camille. You could make an argument to go overgrowth on Camille, by the way. That would also be a decent idea. How are you going, Brutal? You're going for the early game right now. Yeah. I'd say right, that right here is a solid build. Divine Sunder, second item into Wit's End. Just because you're queuing out faster. Also, Twin Guard, also not a half bad idea. You might go and go for Thorn Mail right after you build a uh, Divine Sunder, though. Just because a lot of champions using Vamp, so. I think I had another tank build for him. Yeah, this was the tank build I built for him. I just don't have a name for it yet. It's pretty much just the same build, except you're putting a Searing Crown instead of a Twin Guard. Honestly, you want to build him health ish it's just i would never build him like full tank just because i actually want to do some bit of damage even if it's just the divine sunder all right next up is scion Scion's a freaking nightmare um is he good not at all i would barely ever play him i mean if you really need a tank i'd rather go someone else maybe like uh you don't even really need a tank i'd say maybe even a shen just because shen's more team oriented or if you're use, you're actually playing a tank, just go for them. Um, he's okay. Black Cleaver into uh, Frostborn. I mean Iceborn Gauntlet. I mean it's a solid build. Definitely more of like uh, an attack based build. This right here is Laning Scion. Never go Grasp in Jungle, by the way. Please, for God's sake, never go Grasp in Jungle. Probably gonna go Conquer at this point. If not, Aftershock. Yeah. I, I don't play Scion too much to like really know what to build him. Other than just like strictly health. But uh, yeah. I'd say this right here would be a decent build. Except putting the Edgy Knight instead of Asterics might also be a good idea. I mean, Scion's okay. Never really good though. Just because his weakness to CC. Alright. <laughs> Warwick is insane. Warwick is a fun champion to play. Uh, in terms of solo queue viability, if you feel like running it down, that's pretty much your champion. Um, if your team can get your enemies low health, then you can probably secure the kill. That would also be really good. Honestly, it's pretty solid runes here. I mean, you're focusing on someone all the time, so you Mark of the Week proc will be pretty good. Overgrowth, again, also a good idea. Probably in, instead of a Hextech Flash, or you could make an argue for Pathfinder. So, um, yeah, pretty much a viable build. Definitely, Warwick's also, like, he's always trouble taking down, so build him a bit more tankier than uh, damage. Could make an argument for AP. AP would also be insane on him, just because that's a lot of health you're getting back. So the attack speed, though, you could go for Omni Vamp. However, yeah, there you can make a, you can make 
a lot. You can build a lot on him. You can build a good bit. Yeah, or you could just build Man Immune. Man Immune's also pretty yeah. decent. What I don't understand, though, is Man Immune Kane. That's kind of strange. That is very strange, in my opinion. Bro, literally taking blue cane seriously. Alright. Nautilus was my resident jungle tank for a while until he the new runes came out. So we're going Aftershock, Font of Life, um, Bone Plating, and uh, Overgrowth with Last Stand. Pretty solid, pretty solid here. Gonna go... This is definitely more the attack tank build as you see Rod of Age just improve Iceborne Gauntlet. I'm not a big fan of fr uh, Frost, I mean the uh, Glacial Augment, except like in lane like this one is. Hextech Flash also wouldn't be too bad. Glacial Augment's just not, in my opinion, the best. I'd rather go Aftershock, especially on like... Nautilus has a bunch of CC so you can get the Glacial Augment proc really easy, but... Aftershock just making yourself way more tanky, in my opinion. If you're going last stand, might as well. See, I see a bunch of people going like Glacial Augment, and I'm like, why? It just makes no sense to me. I mean, I'd rather stay in the battle more than actually like produce a slow. I mean, he pretty he has enough CC to pretty much slow everyone permanently. So I wouldn't I wouldn't really go Glacial Augment, in my opinion. However, I, I guess I haven't played Glacial Augment Nautilus too much. I've only played like one or two games of him. So I guess that's something that I have to experiment on my own. Alright, final Lilia, the final jungler. I've actually been playing a Lilia a good bit. Lilia is so fun to play, man. And I've actually experimented with her build to where I've come up with this. This is literally the perfect build for the Jeep. So... Rod of Ages, obviously for the health, you're a bruiser, going into Leandries just because you're getting that AoE. Riftmaker, really good. You could make an argument for Crystal Scepter at this point, just because slowing people would also be insane. But then you're finishing off with a Death Cat with the Infinity Orb, just because you're going to be doing a buttload of damage right after that. Going Transcendence on her, also the best idea. You could go Overgrove, like... Everyone c is doing right now apparently transcendence in my opinion is way better You could build gathering storm with the triumph for the heal so you could actually stay and fight longer She's pretty solid right now. Nothing like too Like world ending you definitely can't be taking the fights early game as much I mean you can assist but getting the kills is really hard just because you're gonna have to like really really look for the health and to see what your matchup is She's really solid if you need, like, AP. However, there's just better people such as Diana. But if you need, like, teamfight AP, she's really good. But, um, yeah.